So the word for today is joy. Fullness of joy. Everyone that's come up to the little trail stand today, my little Honda, our little Honda element, God's little Honda element, has expressed how much joy that's been poured out on them just by getting a banana or a orange or a Gatorade or a Dr. Pepper or a Yoohoo or honey bun, whatever I've been able to give them. And the same word just keeps coming up, joy. You know, it's my birthday and I'd love to spend it with my family. And I do miss them greatly. But the joy of the Lord is our strength. In his presence is fullness of joy. And black flies, apparently, because I just got bit by a black fly on the leg. In his presence is fullness of joy. And that's what, uh, that's what the word that keeps coming up. I haven't said it. They've said it. I've heard it about 15 times this morning. I've seen about 30 hikers so far. It's 2 o'clock. I've already seen 30. In his presence is fullness of joy. And listen, if you're not daily getting into his presence, and I don't mean just reading your Bible. I don't mean just, you know, listening to Caleb on the way to work. I mean truly getting on your face before an amazing God who dwells in inapproachable light and bowing your whole self before him and saying, you know what? I don't got this, but with you, I can do anything then the joy of the Lord will infill you. When you walk in the Spirit, one of the very first fruits that you put out is love, joy. Love's the first that comes out and joy's the second. I just want to share that with you today. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And when you are in His presence, it is the fullness of joy. So not just this little modicum of joy that I've offered people by a Gatorade and a payday candy bar but fullness of joy, joy to the full, joy that is just not even understandable. It's so beyond happiness. I just want to share that with you today. Joy. Joy. Do you have it in your heart? If you don't, you need to check down before you wreck down. It's something he's been teaching me. Check down before you wreck down because if joy is not in your heart, you aren't as close to him as you think you are. Have a great day. Listen. Dwell in his presence. Be still before the Lord. Let him fill you up to the full of joy. Have a great day.